Hello YouTube, Greeks vs. Rome, reporting for his part 2 of Redstone Clock tutorial. Today we are going to build the rest of the clock. Last video we left off with finishing the configuration of 2. So today we're going to finish the rest of it. So let's bring out Minecraft. Let's go to the map. Yeah, I tried this to see if it would look better. Yes, I kind of like it. It does kind of make it look a little better. So yeah, we're at 7,000. That's pretty cool. Okay, remember we left off right here with number two. Oops. What the heck, I'm not able to click. Okay. So yeah, let's do number two. We'll do the rest right here. So yeah, for number two, we're going to get rid of the top left right up here. Okay, which is right here. See how we're making a two? Now we have to get rid of the bottom. Right there. Sorry if you guys can hear the clicking of my mouse and my keyboard. I'll try to figure out a way to fix that. If, any, if you guys have any su suggestions, just let me know. Thanks. So, we got the two down. Now let's go do three. Okay, for three, how do we make a three? Right. Mm -hmm. There. So we have to get rid of the top right up here. Which is this redstone. So you know that current turns this, these off. And we have to get rid of the bottom one right, right down here. Uh, which is right here. Yeah, so we have three now. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to go shut my windows. Okay, what number are we on? I think we just got done with three. Okay, we're on four now. Okay, so we have to, for four, we have to get rid of the top and the bottom two. So, top one down. See, we have the top. We have to get rid of the bottom left and the bottom middle, which is right here. Okay, we got four. Now five will be right here. Right, okay, we can get rid of the top one right up here. Five. See, that's how you make a six also. Let's get rid of the top one. That'll be next. So the five right here. So bottom left. Okay. So we have five. Boom. Now six. Just we got remember we just gotta get rid of the top one now. I don't know if you need to put these redstone torches here, but I doubt it, but yeah. Six. Okay, we got six. Now we can start with adding the rest of it. So probably should have raised it up a little, but you're gonna have to Stay with me here for a second, so. So for this room, put redstone torches on the bottom. Okay, so now we don't need these. You can keep them there if you want. But uh, I'm just going to take them off. Okay, now we're going to put redstone repeaters. You have to have redstone repeaters. It can't be anything else. Once again, you guys can probably hear me clicking my trackpad, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I use a Mac. MacBook. Pro. Um, so now we're going to put redstone torches on the bottom, right here. Okay. Just like that. So watch, what we're going to do is we're going to have pistons, you're not going to use these, we're going to use piston, okay, so we're going to place it like this, 
I was, I, you know, I was about to explain what it was for, but I got caught up in doing this. Boom. 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 You guys saw that, right? Okay, look. It's going to be like this. Okay. Okay, now we're going to have to wire it. Alright, you guys. Okay, now that one needs to be powered. Okay, let's bring this. Oops. Okay, that's gonna be powered. One. One, one, one take, okay? Just one. Okay, now we need one take that. Okay, now we're going to need to make a pulser, okay? For those of you who don't know what a pulser is, you'll see right now. Okay, so a pulser, we'll, we'll start off with... Let me clear out some room. Once again, I probably should erase it up a little more. Okay, pulser, we're going to do this, okay? Redstone torch on opposite sides. Yeah, let's do that, okay? We need to have, it just has to be two ticks, okay? Two ticks. We should have this now. Okay. I'm going to try to hurry this up because it takes a long time for it to load to YouTube. Um, now to try it out, just to make sure it works pretty good. There's... Okay. You see how, how the redstone, it just powers it really fast and then turns off. So it's for, so you go like this. Yeah, it should work. Really good. Okay. Now let's get some glass. If you guys are understanding what this does, good. Okay, you guys get it? Look, now it goes to two. You can have a second counter if you want, or this can be a minute counter. Either way, it, it works. See, so what it's going to do is, let me just get it back to where it is. Okay, look, so it's on zero. Okay, we're going to have a clock, a redstone clock. Uh, that powers it to continue it to go. So C is zero. Then when a uh, redstone power goes to it, it turns into a one. Then it goes two. Then so on. See three. Okay. Now let's get rid of this button. Yeah, that can still get it. Um, sorry for it not looking nice, please. Just make a just a normal, nothing fancy, just a redstone clock. I can actually probably make this smaller. Yeah, so we're just gonna be making this. Boom. Let me just turn it on real fast. Yeah, it's not, that's what you don't want to do. So you need to... There. Just like that, okay? Now watch. It should go like per second. Six. Whoa, 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 what the heck? 
You guys saw that, right? That's... I probably did something wrong with the zero. Five. Six. Oh, no, zero works. Okay, just do not see that properly. Let me just make this a little... bit faster. Do it like this. Once again, I don't like this rain. So yeah, we have this working now, okay? This is the second counter. Okay, so this will be like... And then we'll have one next to it, which will be the tens spot, okay? I'll do that right now for you guys, and I'll be right back, okay? So yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, I had to go do something. Okay, so this is what I've added, the 10 digit, okay? And I've improved some stuff drastically because I missed a bunch of stuff. Like, for example, the first one I did, I only added 6 or 7. You need actually 11 of them. No, sorry, 10, sorry. So there's 6 right here. No, 7 right here. And, yeah, so 10. Sorry. Um, so you're going to have to add an extra 3 of these right here. Okay, don't mind these, you don't need these on it. But yeah, ten of these, or three more of these on the side. I just put it in green so you can see it better. We also added that the other side. The other side is just the exact same thing as this, except you add only seven of them. You can just configure it to zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And what I added, I added this. Just like I added over here on this side. And I did it on this side, but this one's more compact. Okay, so just follow this. And I also added this, so make sure you do this. This is going to be for the 8, eight spot. You'll see why if you try to do it the, just like this, over here, over right here. It, it doesn't work, because... But if there's redstone over here, it activates this piston, which just doesn't work. So, yeah. You have to make another repulsor. Same thing, toothpicks and everything, right? Connect it down here. And you have to make uh, four ticks for this total. So one, and then three right here. Uh, sorry, it's going to be one. This, is how, this has three ticks. This has no ticks. No ticks. Um... That's going to have, uh, let's see. So yeah, I have to add one more tick on here. Then. It should work. I mean, this has no ticks. So let's have three, none. Let's see if it works real fast. Just going to add. Yeah, that works. There we go. You try it all the time just to make sure. Okay, it works just fine. Okay, so now to add, make it so it counts from 1 to 10, or 1 to 9 here, and then, or 0 to 9 here, and then uh, 0 to 6, or 60 seconds. It's you bring this right here. Oh, sorry. Okay, so you bring uh, redstone wiring all the way over here. Then. Redstone torches with three ticks each. So it provides lag. So once it reaches zero to nine, so eight, nine, and then it'll start changing. And then by the time it goes back to zero, it'll be ten. It's at two right now because we just used it. So I shall replace it and I will show you how it works. And if you guys want me to do the entire digital clock to where it does PM and AM and stuff like that, uh, subscribe and like so I can ha so I know you guys want are listening and want and want me to do that. So we have this, and we have this. Should all be good. And now we just have to, we just have to uh, connect the redstone wiring, and we'll start. I gotta fix the numbers that were weird. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
Then boom, see? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. So it should just work like this. And you should be good. So, yeah. Um, it's pretty much how exactly how I did this, except these ones all go up to 9. So it counts from 0 to 9, and then it just switches and goes on. So as you get up to the higher ones, you're going to use the AND gates. That's what I use. It, really, it works, so it's really confusing for me. And I'll probably for you guys, so it goes here. I labeled it to help. So once the 9 is done, it goes to here. And then uh, it'll go from uh, the tens digit, which is 99. Once that activates, it'll activate through here, go around, and then activate the 999. It's really confusing. Now, if you don't know what an end gate is, this is a. It also counts as an end gate. It's just a weird one. An end gate is. This can't won't turn off. These ones are not turned on. This will not turn on unless all of them are turned off. That's what an end gate does. So see, it's not turning. Boom! It's not turning on until all of them get turned off. That's what the end gate does. So yeah, that's how I made this. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, com comments, or want to tell me what I need or missing, um, yeah, just uh, please comment. So yeah, see you guys. See you guys on another video. Bye. Mm -hmm.